Well, we've had a, a lot of ups and downs since our last video on our top bar beehive. I just want to show you here at the entrance uh, the bees coming in with uh, pollen. In our last video, we had to install a new queen. I thought we had stopped the, uh, the die off there. What percentage of the bees uh, had died? I believe we lost at least half, more than half really, mm -hmm. before it was all said and done. I want to show you our ant control setup. I got the idea from another YouTube user called Bubba Tanicles out of Georgia. And it's a four inch PVC caps. I drill a hole in the center and put them up, up on the pipe. And then I put the high temp bearing grease that he recommends. So far, this has been working. As far as predators, say predators. Predators. That's, a, that's our, our four year old son. <laughs> We did the ant control, but we didn't really think about... Ant control. Ant, ant control. <laughs> yeah, we did the ant control, but we, we really didn't think about yellow jackets and... It was yellow jackets and uh, carpenter bees. Mostly yellow jackets. And um, then one day, I stuck my camera underneath uh, where the screen is, and I look, and the bees were gone. Bees were gone. As you see here. When I looked in the bottom of the where the screen is, there was a dead carpenter bee there. Yep. And there was there were a few yellow jackets hanging around. What had happened, they were being attracted by the sugar syrup dripping down onto the screen and then we believe that they didn't feel safe in there. Safe in there. That's right. And there weren't enough um, bees to protect the hive. Right. So they absconded. But fortunately, my wife, my better half, found the bees in this tree here. So I suited up, I pulled the truck underneath the tree and put the ladder on top of the cab of the truck and got up there and got the bees in this little box. Little box. You can hear them here. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we put the box into the top bar hive, closed it up. Closed it up. And 24 hours later, they were back in the tree again. They left. So uh, attempt number two, I got up there again and got them down. And this time I said, well, maybe I'll put them in our little 10 bar, top bar nuke. It could be called a swarm trap as well. And same, same effect, uh, in 24 hours later, they just went right back to the tree. So the third day we got them again and uh, I tried just dumping them in the top bar nuke and uh, moved them in a different spot. And, it was another epic fail. Epic fail. Yeah. It was pretty devastating, uh, to say the least. Uh, so, what did we do? What did we do? We called our bee supplier. You know, it's here it is, July, and uh, we, I knew better, but we bought another package of bees. He sold us some and with a queen. and We went and got it on a Wednesday. Yeah and installed it that night. But we still had a few stragglers from the last hive. Guess what? 24 hours later, <laughs> I came home and they were all still in there. I had footage of it. Two hours later, right about dark, I, I went out there to check on them and they were gone. And the queen was still in her cage. I'm thinking they must have just signaled the other bees because they could smell the original queen's pheromones in the, in the hive and the other bees signaled the, the new bees to come up here in this tree. Originally, they went up in the, the highest part of that original tree, and then the next day, right, they were gone, like yeah, completely gone. Completely gone. There was no way we could have gotten them out of that tree anyway. Yeah, they were at the very top of the tree. Nine days later, we had a huge rainstorm. I mean, it was, it came down hard. Whoa, early, early in the morning, probably about one, two in the morning, and then, uh, the next day came, and uh, we just just around doing work around the cabin. Mm -hmm. And about that was about four o'clock. We yeah. Out there, right? Yeah, about four o'clock in the evening, I went to put up uh, these little wood sawhorses under the barn, our bush hog, and this is what I saw. Honeybees. <laughs> Honey we and, couldn't uh, believe it. We were like, uh, "Where did y'all come from? Where did y'all go from?" They must have falling out of a tree or they're through from the rain and maybe, maybe went to go find a new house. Maybe like so we went around the other side of the barn, 
to the original hive and uh, there was some bee activity there too. Uh, I didn't want to disturb them so we just kind of left them alone. Now you see this canopy here, we, we had this old canopy my used to feed cows to feed under. We slapped that up just to give them shade because I was debating on if they were getting too hot. That they're not, they're in the shade about 70% of the day but down here in the south it's hot. And uh, four days later, we still have bees. And matter of fact, we have uh, more activity at the main hive. We're drinking the sugar, the sugar syrup, syrup. and uh, it's, uh, it's a double blessing from God and we're thankful for it. And we will uh, keep you up to date. Keep you up to date. Bye YouTube. Bye YouTube.